Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create off canvas menu in Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the off canvas menu, first of all, what I need to do, I have to install the plugin. So for that, I have to go inside the plugin and click on the add new here. And in the plugin, I have to search for royal add ons, okay? Alright, so as you can see, the royal Elementor add ons and the templates here. So we have to install this plugin. Click on the activate now. Okay, so here what we need to do, we have to go inside the royal add ons. Okay, so in the royal add ons, we actually have to use the off canvas content. Okay, so to use the off canvas content, first of all, I would have to go inside the theme builder. So in the theme builder, first of all, what I need to do, I actually have to create the header template because I will be using the off canvas menu in the header. Okay. So let's just find down header here, create template, click on the save conditions. Okay, so in the header template, let's just click on the royal add ons here. All right, so I actually need to use the navbar here. So I simply click here. Okay, so I think this looks really great here. So let's click on the insert. Okay, so as you can see here that we have added the navbar here. So at the moment, I'll simply delete the button from here. So let's do a right click on the button. And from here, I'll simply click on the delete here. All right. So now what I need to do, I have to search for off canvas content here. So let's just drag this and put this here. And you will be able to see the button here. So let's change the title here. So that would be off canvas menu here. Okay, so as you can see here that we have the off canvas menu. Okay, so you can see the option here. The first thing that we have is the select template. Okay, but at the moment we don't have any template, but we will create template now. So let me just explain this first. Okay, so after the template, we have the header title. So I can simply disable this. And after that, we have the position, we have the width, which is actually the part of pro version. And after that, we have the interest animation. So you can see here we have the three different values, but unfortunately other two values are actually the part of pro version. Okay. So after that we have the button. So in the button, we have the title, we have the icon and you can see this, we have the icon distance and we have the alignment and let's just click on the request feature. And you can see here, we can simply request a new feature from here. But at the moment, let's just go back to our content and now let's just click on the style here. So in the style, you can actually change the styling of the button here. We have the border, we have the box shadow, typography, pairing, and we can also add the border type, border radius. So I would actually like to add the border radius here, 10 px, and I would also like to add the padding. So that would be 20 px. We can change the background color here, and we can change the text color. But at the moment, I will just simply keep it like this. But if I just click on this. Now you can see this, I haven't selected the template here. So first I have to create the template for it. Okay, so let's close this, click on the update. Now I have to go back here and click on the exit. And what I need to do, I simply have to go inside the save templates. And in the save templates, I have to create a new template. So let's click on the create template. So that would be off canvas. Okay, so here I just have to create the template for my off canvas menu. Okay, so let's just write down name menu here, drag this. All right, so let's click here again. And I would like to add the heading. And in the last, I would actually like to add an image here. So let's change the size of the image here. And I have to align the heading into the center. So let's click on the center here. And we have this menu here. So let's click here. And we also have to put this into the center. All right. So this is how it works. So now let's just choose the image. And click on the content here. Click on the choose image. Or right, so I'll simply go here with this logo. And I would actually like to add something on my adding here. So that would be. Let's just write on the menu here. Now let's click on the update. Alright, so we have created the simple template here that we can use with our off canvas menu. So let's go back, click on the exit here. Now let's just go inside that royal add ons. And in the royal add ons, let's just click on the theme builder. And here we have to edit our header here. So let's click on the template. 
Now let's just click on the off canvas menu here. And what we need to do, we just have to add the template here. Okay, so let's click here. And you can see this, we have the off canvas menu that we have created. So now if I just click on the off canvas menu, you will be able to see our menu here. You will be able to see our logo here. So this is how we can create the off canvas menu. Okay. So let's click on the update. And now let's click on the preview here. All right. So let's click on the button here. Now you'll be able to see our off canvas menu. Okay. So this is how it works. And this is how we can create off canvas menu in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.